Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com. For premium picks, DwyerVIP.com. Videos like this would normally be on my VIP site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. In betting on boxing, in my opinion, the best bets are the bets where you don't even have to know who wins the fight. You just have to know that the outcomes are limited to a certain set of outcomes. I believe then you can make big money. There is a rare opportunity that's presenting itself, according to the betting lines, for this upcoming Tavares Cloud versus Bernard Hopkins fight. In my opinion, Bernard Hopkins is the better boxer. If I had to pick one of these guys to outbox the other, I would pick Bernard Hopkins to outbox Tavares Cloud. But there's huge risk involved because Tavares Cloud is a knockout puncher. And understand, Bernard Hopkins is in his mid 40s, not just his 40s, he's in his mid 40s. In fact, He's closer to 50 years of age than he is 40 years of age. <clears throat> Tavares Cloud, in his last fight against Gabriel Campillo, should have been charged tuition. He got completely schooled. However, he did start the fight emphatically. He did knock down Gabriel Campillo early. That's when Cloud is going to be most dangerous. Let me go one step further. Bernard Hopkins, despite fighting for decades, literally, right? Bernard Hopkins has never been knocked out, right? He's never been knocked out. But against Jean Pascal, an explosive puncher, understand that Bernard Hopkins was knocked down in their first fight. It's possible that that tough opponent, Father Time, is catching up with Bernard Hopkins. So I see this fight going one of two ways. Bernard Hopkins wins the fight, right? Boxes the shorts off of Tavares Cloud, circles him using the kind of lateral movement that Southpaw Gabriel Campillo used. Understand, Hopkins is adept at moving either way. Even though Hopkins is an orthodox fighter, if Hopkins wants, he could literally move to his right or his left in the ring. He has excellent balance. He has an ability to move. Just look at his fight against Antonio Tarver. Right? So I'm expecting either Hopkins to outbox the Varus Cloud, I would say that's the most likely outcome. Or, if I were to take Cloud in this fight, I would expect an early KO, right? Hopkins went down relatively early in that first Jean Pascal fight. Then he figured out the angles and the tempo. Let me have a Marco Rubio moment here. Then he figured out the angles and the tempo and dominated the latter part of that fight. Officially, that first fight was ruled a draw. Right? Tavares Cloud throws very short punches. In a lot of ways, he's like Marvin Hagler. He's on his front foot when he gets up to you. He throws very short punches. I believe that that, quite frankly, surprises opponents early in fights. Opponents simply aren't ready. Not even skilled boxers like Gabriel Campillo. And let's remember, Campillo had fought for the light heavyweight championship before. Campillo himself was a former light heavyweight champion. Campillo had been in the ring against explosive punchers like Babu Chuminov. And yet Campillo was completely caught off guard by the shortness and power of Tavares Cloud's punches. So, in my opinion, for Tavares Cloud to win, he would have to catch Hopkins early, right? He has a senior citizen in the ring with him. That senior citizen has been down in a recent fight. 
he would have to catch Hopkins early because once Hopkins figures out what Cloud is doing, in my opinion, Hopkins is going to dominate the later part of the fight just like he did the latter part of the first Pascal fight and all of the second Pascal fight. Right? So, I believe the casinos are offering you a gift. I believe this is a rare opportunity. Incredibly, Hopkins to win the fight, knowing that plus 100 is even money, right? Bet 100 to win 100 is actually a plus 140. I bet 100, I win 140. Here's the great part of the play. The heads. Believe it or not, the over-under is a very high nine and a half rounds. That's the midway point of the 10th round, right? Believe it or not, on the under nine and a half rounds, and keep in mind, for Cloud to win, in my opinion, it would have to be an early knockout. The under nine and a half rounds actually pays off at plus 325. Bet 100 to win 325. Keep in mind, you also get your $100 back. Right? So, this is that rare fight where, in my opinion, the two most likely outcomes, Hopkins to win or Cloud by KO, inside of 10 and a half, excuse me, nine and a half rounds, midway point of the 10th round, the casinos are incredibly giving you greater than even money odds. In other words, you can set up the bet, simple hedge, Bernard Hopkins to win, hedged against the under nine and a half rounds, and you can make money if either happens. In fact, keep in mind, as you set up the hedge, you don't have to put a hundred, a hundred, the same amount of money on both sides of the hedge. You can stagger the hedge so that if you believe that the most likely outcome is Bernard Hopkins to simply win the fight, you can put most of the money on Bernard to win the fight, but you want to put enough of the money on the under nine and a half rounds so that if Hopkins gets knocked out within the first nine and a half rounds, you at least break even. Okay? But understand the risk. Right? This is a high risk YouTube channel. Gambling is high risk. Let's remember that even Jimmy the Greek apparently ended up busted. Right? Understand the risk. If the virus cloud gets a knockout after the midway point of the 10th round, or if Tavares Cloud gets a decision victory, you lose it all, right? You need to be aware of that risk, right? There is risk involved. I want no one going out there and risking 100% of their betting portfolio on this fight. What you need to do is you need to just devote some portion of your betting portfolio that you're comfortable with on this play. But understand, I consider it to be a strong play. I like Bernard Hopkins to win, hedged against the under nine and a half rounds. And let me just say, if a miracle happens, and it could, where Hopkins wins this fight by knockout inside of nine and a half, then you'll be in the penthouse. You'll win a bounty. And for those of you laughing and saying, well, Hopkins hasn't knocked out anyone for quite some time and hasn't shown power at light heavyweight, then you obviously did not watch the same rematch of the John Pascal fight I saw. Because even though the referee ruled that Pascal slipped a couple of times in that fight, he seemed to slip after getting hit. And let me just say, the virus cloud's defense isn't exactly Pernell Whitaker's, right? So I like Bernard Hopkins to win. He's the underdog. You're getting better than even money odds. Hedged against the under nine and a half 
This way I'm compensated if Cloud closes the show against a senior citizen by knockout. That's how I see this fight. Good luck. For more premium picks, visit us at TheWireVIP.com. I don't post premium picks every day. I only post them when I have a uh, strong enough conviction to do so. So I do hope you check with that site from time to time. Good luck, and we hope you stop by GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site. Thanks for watching.